give you a little family background here. Gentlemen, if we could have that first uh, slide up there. Can we do that? Uh, this is a, a picture of uh, the home that I grew up in when I was a boy. This is the home that my, I moved my parents out of uh, just five years ago. This is the house that my parents lived in for 50 years, during which time they threw away nothing. I pulled up to that right side garage door. My dad's standing there. He said, what do you want to do with these? He's got a pile of slide carousels <laughs> spanning 20 years of my life. Roughly 100 slides per carousel. That's 2,000 slides in no particular order. I said, Dad, put them in those boxes. Mail them to me in Minnesota. I will be the keeper of the slides. You do not need to worry about this great legacy. <laughs> Here's the truth. Here's the truth, I did not want them. See, I remembered our family slideshows when I was a boy, and, and I felt that many of our slides were not high quality. I felt a lot of our slides were not, were not well cared for. I would say, honestly, Dad, what, what, why would you even keep a slide like that? Honestly, I mean, a, why don't you throw it away? He'd say, no, I like your mom in that little wedge. I think she looks so pretty there. Oh, if we had 2,000 slides, 1,300 of them had a flame coming from one side or the other. We had no idea what caused it, how it got there. The man who sold my mom with this camera said, Lucille, you're going to love this camera. You can hardly take a bad shot. Then he took the picture, or the camera, pointed at my mom and took the very first picture. <laughs> And focus was sometimes a problem, <laughs> although apparently not for my dad. My dad would look at this very slide and he would say, I love that picture. <laughs> your Aunt Audrey looks so pretty in that uh, sailor outfit. And your grandma, she looked healthy there. Look at the smile. And, and Lucille, why don't you wear that orange pantsuit anymore? I think that looks so nice on you. This, of course, is my mom on the porch there on the left and my teenage sister in the middle. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but you can tell by the fashions there on the right are some relatives visiting from Sweden. <laughs> Kids in the digital age have no idea the fun they're missing out on. We had a lot of these double, double exposures. <laughs> <laughs> this is one my big sister called Winter Dreams. <laughs> Another artsy shot of my mom and dad floating in the trees by the car over the bike beside the street. Another of my sister in her bathing suit doing handstands on somebody's snowfield. We're not sure whose that is. <laughs> Look at the pictures hanging on the wall. Is that great? This is my, uh, my, my grandmother and my grandfather uh, sitting on their sofa there in their living room in Glacier National Park. Yeah, it's very sentimental, this one is for me, because it's the only one I have of my grandfather bouncing me on his knee. <laughs> I was well proportioned as a baby, as you can see there, well dressed. Oh, and this is a triple. I wish I could, I could prove this to you, but unfortunately you don't know these people, so I, I can't, but I swear there are three couples in this photo who have never met. <laughs> Oops, sorry, blank. The blanks would blind us. Do you remember that? Because our pupils would be wide open in those dark rooms, and then the blanks would just, and they would just constrict, and we would shout out as a family. Even the person running the projector would go, blank. We couldn't help it. Blank. In unison. Let's try it once. Blank. Here's your turn. Ready? Blank. And this is our favorite double. <laughs> Niagara Falls, <laughs> sort of. It's a picture of me on the left. And to the right there, the giant naked ghost baby. The funny thing 
is, we have no idea who this little girl is. <laughs> but she always got a big laugh in our slideshows. Not for me, I didn't laugh ever. I thought she was kind of creepy. She kept showing up in my slides. Now she's not getting older, but she's getting bigger. Oh, I was going to show you. That guardrail's in a handy place, don't you think? <laughs> oh, and this is what happens when a slide gets too close to the projector bulb. If it gets jammed in there, it burns right up. And that's that half moon shape there, which is just nothing. There's nothing there except the projector bulb. But we couldn't throw this away, this ruined slide, because my little sister was in here. If we had 2,000 slides, two-thirds for my sister. Sister. Sister, 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 sister. <laughs> I love this one. I actually used this when she was four to convince her that when she was born, her foot was on backwards. <laughs> so there was a pattern to our slideshows. It went sister, focus, flaming, double, damaged. Ghost baby. Yeah, look close. She's in there. And those few of you who think this is indecent, you're not even looking at the naked baby now, are you? <laughs> well, thanks. Now you're just laughing at my family. Remember Gary Larson from The Far Side? I think he knew my people. Yeah, I can't be sure, but I look at this, I'm thinking Gary knew. <laughs> and here's the one I wanted you to see right here. This is a picture of my father and myself. Uh, this was uh, uh, the morning I turned 14. Uh, it was also the morning. We took this picture because it's the morning that we realized that he and I, you can't quite tell it in this picture, but he and I were the same height. Kind of a, of a wonderful father-son moment. Uh, it's also the morning that we realized it was time for me to get a big boy tie. <laughs>